this has got to be pretty special for you. It seems like a, a big fight for you. This right here was cool. Uh, work out in the MGM, that was fun. Never really had a big crowd like that, so that was cool. Do you, do you enjoy moments like that? I mean, do you sure. take take pleasure in it? Absolutely, why not? That's a way to start the new year, huh? It's cool. It's all these people here at noon. Oh, yeah. I know you don't really game plan much and study tape on your guys, but is there anything that you've been told to watch out for specifically with Jury, things that specifically you have to avoid? Nah, he just pretty much game everywhere. You know, the kid's like a new breed. He's, got, he's good everywhere. Uh, I'm great everywhere, so we should be all right. Did you work with Diego much when he fought Jury? Uh, I did, yeah, actually. I do remember getting Diego already, but uh, Diego was injured for the return side, but I, who have you mostly done the bulk of your uh, training and sparring with over at Jackson's? Uh, sorry, what did you say? Uh, Jackson's camp. Who yeah. have you really worked with and sparred with to emulate Jerry? Oh, man. No one really to emulate him. Uh, just the same guys, Johnny, especially getting ready for Formia, you know, to all around with him. Probably not the best idea, but uh, I got conned in. We brought a bunch of guys in to come and train, and uh, probably one of the best training camps I've ever had to be honest. We built that new facility and uh, spent quite a bit of money on. Uh, Bring people in and get ready for this fight. So, yeah. How about the uh, airplane ride that you had the other day? Barrel rolling. How I told you guys go? it was a yeah. nice, calm airplane ride. Uh, said I was going to do that. It was fun. Enjoyed that shit. But working on getting my pilot's license, and uh, someday I'll be doing that alone. So. That help you kind of uh, have the calm before the storm, even though some people it seems chaotic. Sure, sure, yeah. Absolutely. Are there any plans tonight, or is, is it this late in the week? Do you finally have to dial it down and? Not do anything too crazy. Oh, it's New Year's. There'll be Budweiser's flowing, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, Donald, you said, you said you, you spent some money to bring some people in. Can yeah. you give us an idea, like, how expensive is twenty thousand training camp to run? Yeah, it cost me $20,000. Uh, that's not, like, coaches. That was just strictly, like, bringing guys in, flights, you know, bringing guys in from East Coast, like, $1,000 round trip, you know, uh, feeding them, paying them, and, uh, yeah, so it cost me right around twenty grand. That's about that's about typical for you per flight? Yeah, this was a little more expensive because I, I had the new facility and brought. We decided to bring a lot more guys in. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you figure would you pay 20 to make 100? Because I would. You've had a really busy uh, year. You like to be active. Is this as active as you like to be? Are you willing to take some time off? Oh, no, no time off. I'm coming, coming right for it again. So, as soon as this fight's over, I'm sure I'll be calling Mr. Dana and saying he's ready. And you've seen Jones. What do you think uh, is going to happen in the main event? Kids are so talented, man. He is. Uh, I just don't know what uh, Cormier's wrestling is great, but John's just so long I'm trying to get in on him. And you know, John's a great wrestler himself. He brought a lot of wrestlers in for this camp, and I just don't know if Cormier has the, the tools to beat him.